we're at the Cake and Bake Show. We're very excited. Uh, we're literally just outside. We have our tickets and we're going to go in. So I'll show you everything that we buy and everything that we see. So yeah, hopefully it's good. I would buy your donut over mine, I mean. I would buy yours uh, uh, to um, support you. <laughs> Not for how it looks. It looks beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's art, that's what it is. It's ombre, I'm calling it the ombre donut. I just can't believe that that came out like, like the, the, what do you call it? The icing, I don't know why it did that. I think it's because it was stiff, I should have massaged it. To be fair, I only massaged mine because I saw that yours came out sick. Otherwise, I would have known. <laughs> I want it to be like. Oh, see, that looks amazing. Over, we need to give it a name. Overloaded. What should we call it? Do you know what it reminds me of? I want it to be really. It reminds me of an octopus. Because of the little rings. What can we. What sort of like name? Octa. Octonut? Thank you. Right, here we go, Sam. Okay, I'm just going to go 
something like that. I don't know if you can see. And the, the ganache will be harder as yeah. well, won't it? Have you seen um, some people put royal icing in with their icing sugar? Oh, like so a teeny bit, and then it sets harder? Yeah, because it's a... So now I'll just go in and show you how easy it is. Hopefully. I really want to try it. Yeah, because people have said it's really good. People say it's really good for wedding cakes when it's hot. Because then when you leave it out, it sets harsh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it helps the sprinkles stay on your hands. I've seen people put ganache as a cake. Yeah. I can only use ganache. I think I used it. I used to use it for a drip. I used to use it for a drip. Now I use um, just uh, chocolate. Yeah, yeah, because it's so much easier. Yeah, either do chocolate with oil or chocolate spread. You just melt it. Yeah, you can Okay, so now I'm going to go in and 
just pick like the bigger ones, so like the love hearts. of the paintbrush instead of at the tip of the paintbrush. Um, so, can you see that? So this by, by the way, is my first time I've ever performed in front of anyone. So to see all these faces is insane. Um, so thank you for coming to watch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into the top bit like this. As I said, the top is quicker to do. I don't know if you can see it up close where you are. Can you see where this looks a little bit blotchy? I don't know if you can see that. So don't be afraid of that. You can you can cancel that out by just going back over it and it will give you a more of a flawless look. Can you see? I know you're quite far away, but I mean at the end you can always come up and have a little bit of more inspection. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I think I will run out of time if I don't carry on with the other colours. So now I'm going to go in with the buttermilk. To me, it kind of looks like an egg yolk, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to go in with this brush. This is an LL8P. Um, I think this is the second largest brush tip. Um, like the other brush, it's a good long brush extension there. So we're going to do the same thing. As I did with the blue one, we're just going to mix the paint around the palette, making sure that we get all of those lumps and bumps away. We don't put those on our paint. We want a nice smooth paint, so we're going to just keep mixing and mixing. And then I'm going to test onto the paper. I 
as I said with the colour, this is a lighter shade, so we, need, we probably will need to go over it twice. I'm going to try it. I did do a dummy, so like a demo at home, um, on like a little baby, baby page, just to make sure the colours are right, and it went okay with one colour, but we won go over, so hopefully I won't need to go over. Okay, so going in with the second colour, I basically am going to bunch them together. Um, so basically we do not want them to run in together. So if the paint is uh, thick enough, it will not run. It will stay in this section. Okay? So you can go in like this if you can sit on the camera. I think this is at C26. They do lots of different things. They do um, stencils, they do scrapers from like the scallop scrapers on your so there's like you know like the line going on it and the fat and uh, stripy scrapers, they do embosses, outbosses, cutters, literally anything cakey, you need to head over that way because they do lots. And you can check them out on Instagram, they are called Lizzie Blue. Um, I'm gonna push this now into the cake. Hopefully it goes in. This is a poster in heaven for me. Usually if you're working with a normal cake, so it'll be sponge, it just slots in and it will turn over the done it. So I'm now back from the cake and bake show. I actually got back two days ago, or like it finished, it happened two days ago. Um, but I'm only just getting around to doing the outro and showing you what I bought. So just a little kind of like roundup. I thought it was a really good show. Um, I've heard from people that it is smaller than it normally is. Apparently it's normally a lot bigger. I did think that it was a bit small, um, but obviously I've never been, so I didn't know what it was gonna be like. But we finished about half three or maybe like three. And then we decided that we were gonna leave then because there was kind of like nothing else that we needed to do. And I think we got there at like quarter past 10. So we weren't there that long. Um, there were some people that were only there like an hour or two. Some people were there really like short amounts of time. I think it just depends what you were looking for. We watched some tutorials. We went around all the shops, like we got food. So we spent quite a lot of time there, but obviously some people kind of like weren't interested in some stuff, but firstly, I'm going to show you what I got in the goodie bags. Again, I wasn't that impressed with these. Um, I feel like they could have been more cake related. Um, it was five for five pounds, which I understand was probably a deal for the last day. However, I still wasn't that impressed with them. The only thing that is useful for like cake bakers is the Zaflora, which came in it. So if you've got any of these, then you'll know that this was in it. But apart from this and hand gel, um, these were the only cake related or like cleaning related items. Everything else was food, which I won't eat. So there was like um, a cereal bar, there was like some granola, there was like two lots of granola, there was crisps. And I just felt like it was a bit of a cop out. There could have been like some sprinkles in there or something. Like I felt like it just wasn't that great for a goodie bag and they didn't tell you what was in it. So obviously we bought it hoping that it was gonna be cake related and it wasn't. Even if it was like a magazine or something, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. However, it will be useful and it was five pounds. So it's, still cheaper than if I was to buy all this stuff. So I got five hand gels, which I'm probably not gonna need. And then I got spiced plum. Then I got two of the linen fresh, which is kind of like cotton. Then I got two of the midnight bloom. So I haven't tried any of these. I have the lavender and lemon one, which is really nice, but I don't know if these are gonna be any good. I know that the cotton one will probably be nice because it's like a clean smell, but I'm not really sure about any of the others, if I'm honest. But those were the three things that I got. Then there were some bits that I bought. So this is the only bit that's kind of random, but I love this stuff and I don't know if anyone else has seen it, but I went to a craft show and I got the same stuff and then I went to the cake show and I, they were also there, but it's this Mighty Spice and they do like these little curry packs and you just add water to it and it's like a sauce. So you just add water and then you add it to rice, chicken. Um, I do it with chickpeas and rice. It really just depends on what your diet is, but they are really good. And I tasted both of these at the show and they were really, really tasty. I think it was two for five pounds. I think they're usually like three pounds each. There was loads of deals because it's a show. So there's always offers, 
but yeah I really like those and I thought that I'd pick some more up they are on Ocado and they have their own website I believe but I just picked them up because I was there I never remembered to buy any more of them after I used them last time then in terms of baking stuff I got a few colorings some stamps a stencil and some sprinkles probably didn't need the sprinkles like reflecting back on it I didn't need them but um you know when you're in the moment and you're just like picking up random stuff that's what I was doing so these are the white six millimeter pearls and they are from Make-A-Wish Sprinkles very similar to quite a few other places um very similar to like Cake Decorating Co um Sprinkly UK various other ones but this was obviously the brand that was there so I bought them from here um but you can buy them from quite a few different websites I think they were £3.50 um and it's quite a big bag so that's why I got them from there and they are vegan and 100% natural ingredients so vegan vegetarian etc then I got these so this was all from I think it's called Lizzie Lou yeah there we go Lizzie Lou I got their like business card um and they sell it's mainly cookie stamps um embossers and cutters but they also do toppers they do personalized toppers and I might be ordering one from them soon um I need to inquire about that and then they also do stencils so there was quite a few different things they started doing sprinkles so there was a new range they all looked amazing but I don't need any more sprinkles I've got like an obsession already so I don't need any more um so the first thing I got was this stencil I believe I don't have the price of anything but I believe this was £12 and it's kind of like a polka dot Dalmatian type stencil and I thought it was the most universal out of all of them there were some that were like stripes hearts Christmassy whereas I thought this one could be for like baby showers it could also be for birthdays it could literally be for anything um and also I wanted to mention there won't be a live um for a cake this week so I haven't got any this weekend however I was thinking that I was going to do a live and use my new stuff so use my new colouring to use this stencil and use some of these stamps that I got on a cake and then that will be the live. So that is going to be on either Friday or Saturday depending on what other work I'm doing. So I'm doing lots of admin and YouTube stuff. Um, but yeah, we, there will be a live this week. I'm just not sure which day it will be. So that was the stencil that I got. Then I got these embossers. So if you don't know the difference, there's stamps and embossers. Stamps stamp into the fondant. Embossers make like a 3D picture of whatever's on the embosser. So I got this one for Christmas. So it will make a 3D version of that little reindeer. Then we have Oh Baby, which for baby showers. Again, this is universal. There were like, it's a boy, it's a girl. And I was like, well, then it has to be one or the other. So then you have to buy both. Whereas this, you can obviously use that whether it's a girl or a boy and this one is just Christmas but I thought it was cute um all of these I believe were £4.50 and then I got this little one which I thought was cute it's a little cloud with a face again that could be used for baby showers but it can also just be used for like kids birthdays so very universal again and then this one is for Halloween and it's like dripping letters so I thought that was cool because I've decided so if you don't already know if you're interested in postals I've got um Halloween postal brownies which are individuals and they're all kind of like themed so there's like Einstein um like a graveyard pumpkin patch that kind of thing but then I'm also going to be doing a treat box for anyone that's local so it's going to be like cake pops um cupcakes and brownies and then it will be like a £15, there'll be six items in it, and then you can order that for the 31st or the 30th. So that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to use that for that little box. Then I got these two colours. This is a sneak peek for Christmas, because I've decided to go non-traditional this year. So I'm going to be using sage green instead of a forest green, so rather than it being a really bright green, we're going to be going for like a pastel sage. And then we have Dusk, and these are both Colour Mill colours. They were £4.50, so they were slightly cheaper than if you were to buy them online. And this was from Cake Decorating Co. Um, so Dusk is more of like a pink um, on the actual cake. I've seen some photos of people that have used it. It comes out more of like a blush pink, like a baby pink. Um, and then the sage green is obviously like a kind of minty olivey colour, I guess. So those are going to be my Christmas colours. 
Um, so again, I'm going to do a treat box for Christmas and then I'm also going to do a postal brownie and that's it. I'm just trying to keep it simple rather than doing cupcake boxes and um, getting really complicated because last year it was very complicated for me. Um, I took on way too much and yeah, it was just more stressful than it's worth. So I wanted to keep it simple with just a postal option and then an in-person option. And if people want to order the postal option for collection, then they can. So that is my um, Christmas colours. And then for Halloween, I think I'm doing orange and purple. So that's what we're doing for those. But that's everything that I got from the show. I had a lovely time. Um, just a little shout out if, if you might want to actually like go and follow her or anything like that. Um, I went with Just Cupcakes by Lauren. She is amazing. Like she's way better than me at cakes. She is so, so good. Um, and she's just lovely. And yeah, we've like made cake friends. So that's amazing. And we're going to do like a little Christmas do and stuff. So I'm so excited for that. Um, but yeah, it was really nice because that was the first time I met her. And yeah, like I say, if you want to go and check her Instagram out, it's just Cupcakes by Lauren and she's based in the same place as me um, in Buckinghamshire. So you'll be able to tell like whether it's the right person, but I'm pretty sure there's only one. So yeah, that's what I went with and I had such a good time. Um, I will insert some photos because I got some postal, like their postal businesses, but they were obviously there. So I will show you what like donuts and stuff I got. I got some from Donut Time, Cake Tin, Bakery, and then I got something else as well. Um, but I don't know if it was from Lola's. That's it. I got some Lola's cupcakes. So I'll put in some photos around me so that you can see what I got in relation to like treats. I've already got through half of them and... I already feel like so fat for eating them so um i'm probably gonna palm off the others to my parents because i just can't eat them there's just so much i bought way too much again i was hungry when i bought them so i bought like four donuts four cupcakes um and then i got a brookie and a blondie so i haven't tried the blondie yet but i'm super excited because it looks like an authentic blondie literally i stopped doing blondies because i was like i can't do the authentic blondie that everyone does so i'm just gonna leave it to the pros so hopefully it is really really tasty but yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog and there will be a live this weekend like i said and then there'll probably be another sit down video next week because i'm quite enjoying doing the sit down videos or like vlogs rather than doing lives like every single upload it is quite nice to do the odd pre-film video so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye